try to do some research, do some inquiries, you do some intelligence, Rwanda did not in any way create this war that is happening in Eastern Congo. You, you, for me, I'm giving a fact, go and investigate and prove me wrong. Rwanda never got involved in starting this fighting that has happened in Eastern Congo. But with the time, there has been an effort to actually make it our war. That we are the ones who started it. Over time, this is what has happened. Now, using what? If you see the combination of hate speech and the displacement of these people, you come to understand what actually was behind it. Maybe somebody thought they were being smart, and they thought that was the, end, uh, the way to end the M23 problem, which was there in 2012, by, because there is ethnic, ethnic cleansing pushing these Tutsis to Rwanda to belong there because that's where they belong. And uh, Kagame is a Tutsi, he's the president of Rwanda. Let, 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 let them go and join their, their president. This is what is behind it. But I would ask people so. You may associate us with M23. You may blame us for everything, M23. What do you say about FDRR that is in Eastern Congo for the last 30 years, more or less? I thought even the forces, the UN forces that were put in, 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 in Eastern Congo or in Congo, were put there to actually address this problem and maybe other problems, but this one was the main one. But you've been there for decades. It has been so costly, but the problem is still there. And then some of them tried the government said, no, 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 they are not there. You know, we don't have a there. And then we would give them names. But these are the readers, one, two, three, so and so and so and so and so. They are in this location. In fact, I, I one time told the president of DRC, no. I said, you don't know that these people are there in this place, in this place, in that place, and they've been even mining roadblocks and they collect taxes. He says, he... so he remembered. <laughs> he remembered that that has been happening. So I said, so what are we talking about? You have FDRR who have taken over territories in Eastern Congo and are collecting taxes and you are telling me they are not there? 